Well, bust my buttons. Mm. I just got a notice saying that I have over 1,000 subscribers to the Cheap Bastards channel. Well, as well as being a cheap bastard, I guess I'm also a bit of a, an ungrateful bastard. It occurs to me the right thing to do, the proper thing to do, excuse me. Mm. Sorry, I was really thirsty. Where was I? The right thing to do, the proper thing to do, is to have a giveaway. That's what everybody does, right? I think that's a good idea. And so, with that thought in mind, uh, you can rest assured that the item that I'm going to give away, or, uh, yeah, give away, I guess I can't sell it, shit. Alright, so I'll give it away. We'll have a drawing, right? The item that I have chosen for this momentous occasion is not going to be some cheap piece of shit store-bought garbage. No siree Bob. Instead, you're going to get the real deal. Real garbage. Repurposed garbage. This little beauty right here. It's a tin that held tea. All the way from China. Huh? Brought by my friend Suzanne. Tea and oranges, all the way from China. Uh, let's see what this is, all right? Hang on, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's get down to business. What do we got here? Who can guess? It's a tin. Used to hold tea. No longer holds tea. Anyone who's followed my channel knows that I had for a long time a fetish for wood gas stoves. And one day I was crawling around the garbage and I found this can and I thought, hmm, that's cool, what can we do with that? So, I brought it home and I commenced a drilling and a cutting until I came up with this little egg, we'll just dissect it, <clears throat> show you how it all works. Inside is a soup can, which has been drilled for jet holes on top, air intake holes at the bottom. The air intake holes at the bottom match the four air in intake holes at the bottom of the can. So you got a double wall. Uh, stove. That just slides right down in there like that. Uh, this um, wire cloth I found up on the mountain, Mount Royal, wrapped around a tree, brought it home, cut to fit. Now, theoretically, theoretically, you could do a continuous feed on this, but it's not what I intended. I intended for this to work uh, to boil uh, approximately two cups of water for making tea, basically, or any freeze-dried meal that you had, you know, in your pack with you, or whatever. There you go. She sits right on top, just like that. This billy can does not come with it. This is something of my own. I still use. Gotta have it. Can't live without it. Anyway, she comes apart like that. So how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? What we're going to do is, you respond to the video, just a reply, say hi, offer whatever comments you want. I'll read them, I won't respond, uh, just because <laughs> I'm also a lazy bastard. But uh, we'll have a drawing and we'll do it live. I'll take all the responses and I'll do what everybody else does. I'll just uh, write the names down, a little strip of paper. We'll have a drawing. The drawing will be live. I'll announce your name and then it's up to you to give me an address to mail this baby to. It's lightweight, 
I figure this will appeal to uh, the UK uh, crowd since you all are big tea drinkers and uh, you have your brew kits and there's always uh, talk about uh, uh, whipping up a brew. <laughs> when I think of brew, <laughs> I think of something different. Mm. But I like tea too. And this is a beaut for brew brewing tea. Let me tell you. So, there you have it. Let's get going. Let's get her done. Today is uh, Friday. Uh, I think Monday we'll have the drawing. So, chop, chop. Time's a wasting. Here we go. All right. Here's a quick overview uh, on the fundamentals of wood gas stove use. I've seen a lot of videos where people just start uh, tossing feather sticks or cotton balls into the bottom and then loading wood on top. No, 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 Nanette, that is not the way this works. It's a full charge, one burn. What you do is you load it with sticks, preferably sticks that have no bark. You want good dry wood, which means you're going to have to get out some tools and do a little wood processing, but that's the point. That's half the fun, right? So you process your wood, get them into small pieces. You know what works really well are uh, wood pellets. Oh, those are great. But who wants to carry wood pellets into the woods for God's sakes? So you have to process your wood a bit. What I usually do is I put the bigger, fatter pieces on top. I'm sorry, on the bottom and then build a stack. That's what they call it, a stack. You build a stack up to the, the top of this can here, and then I take my tinder bundle material and I use this um, pot stand to contain it. So basically what you do is you light that. Now there should be enough air coming through the bottom that you're gonna get this feed, air feed. But what happens is as your tinder bundle burns, the ash begins to drop down into the can. And that's how this thing really, really works. Is you have all this hot ash that drops down, igniting, and then the air moving up through the inside of the can reignites the gases that are released from the wood as, as it heats up. Because there's a lot of heat that's contained in this double wall system. So that's my uh, tip. It's a, it's, it burns from the top down, not the bottom. That's why you don't need to have this continuous feed uh, capability. What I found is if you do try to feed it, you'll kill the wood gas effect because you're introducing all this new green uh, cold wood essentially. And it takes longer for it. You, you can do it, but it takes longer for it to cycle. And in a small container like this, what you want is a, a single stack, one time burn. You're going to be able to do two cups of water in this, in this container. Now granted, this container, it's cute. Uh, it's not maybe the most practical thing to carry out into the woods for, say, survival purposes, but it's a blast to play with in the woods. If you have a backup system, don't use this as your only system. You must have a backup system of some sort. That's my tip. Other than that, she's a beauty. It's a work of art, functioning art. You're gonna love it. Cheers. There's the stove we're giving away. Does not include the billy can. Billy, <laughs> billy can sold separately. Uh, yes. She's a real beauty, I tell ya. Horror! Arr. Let's go looking closer, shall we?